we have some facts about American Akitas. We pass a lot of dogs on this trail and also out in the neighborhood and they bark at him. Some of them are off leash, some of them come up to him. He never flinches, he never barks, he never does a thing. He is absolutely silent and that can be quite unnerving for some people. <laughs> So unnerving, what we mean by that is that he looks dead on to any dog that comes, whether it's small or big or really big, whether they're barking, whether they're just quiet, whether they're timid, he just stares straight on, self-contained and like zero reaction. It's, you can't read him at all, but he's dead on, he's got his eyes fixed and he's just silent. So this American Akita is, is some just something i've had a lot of powerful dogs and he is something to get used to because it, you just can't read him at all and it's 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 very intimidating <laughs> the uh, american akita breed is unlike any other breed that i've known if you're not used to powerful dogs or large breeds they are something that you have to get used to and might not necessarily be good for definitely for first time dog owners. This American Akita breed, Chewy Boo the American Akita, they're known to be cat-like, like, like another, no other breed ever. Uh, one, the cat-like is how they move and they're very, very light on their feet for how big and powerful they are. But more than, more important than anything is how quiet they are. He is, it, it can be, if you're not used to it, very unnerving. He's extremely quiet, not like a typical dog that woof, 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 everything that they see. So like even in the yard, we may have heard him bark less than a dozen times in, in the amount of time that we've had him because it's very rare and it's very specific when he does bark. To the point when he does bark, we're like, okay, what's going on? Who's out there? What's up? Really? <laughs> okay. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <That's all good. laughs> they have pretty fluffy bums too. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. This guy here, this American Akita, is non reactive, like non reactive. Today, we had a couple of dogs on our walk in the neighborhood come up towards us. One kind of bird dog and another Labrador. And when they did come, uh, I, I thought that they were gonna be okay, but I wasn't sure. This guy here looks dead on the face, tail up, just kind of watching, but like no reactivity and no reaction. Just, I know who you are, I'm on point, and let's see what, where this goes. And they gave him a sniff and they got kind of all happy and that, but like zero reactivity at all. Again, if you're not used to it, the American Akita breed can be quite unnerving because it's very hard to read where their head is at. We adopted this guy about four months ago, just the time that we finally gotten together, bonding with him and really learning about this breed. I've owned powerful breeds before, large dogs, a lot of large dogs, family dogs and on my own. I've owned a, a Tibetan Mastiff mix too from Asia. So the same, the same kind of breed in their family. But these guys here, they have one of the most powerful bite forces for many breeds, one of the most powerful. These guys are a powerful breed. And like I said before, they just have zero reactivity. They meet a dog head on. The American Akita is absolutely fearless. When they come up upon a dog, they just look the dog straight in the eye. It doesn't matter if it's bigger than them, doesn't matter if it's a 200 pound dog. These guys are just over 100 pound right now. The American Akita just looks just stone cold. And it's, I've actually seen some of the reactivity of other dogs. It's quite unnerving for them because they cannot read this American Akita, Mr. Chewy Boo. So just summing up, having this guy, the American Akita, for about four months or so, they are just a unique breed. If you're thinking about getting one or owning one, they're, they're lovely, they're fluffy, they're regal, just absolutely regal to own. But they are, can be unnerving to some people who are not used to owning a dog breed like the American Akita. They are extremely quiet, again, like a pretty cat. <laughs> 
They are powerful. I'm 125 pounds. This guy here is just over that, but he could take me wherever he would like to take me. <laughs> and quiet, just quiet. So if you're thinking about getting an American Akita, a guy like Chiribu, they are like no other dog out there, like no other breed at all, the American Akita. <laughs>